Hey everybody, I'm back and today I've got something really cool for you when it comes to using ChatGPT. This one thing is going to absolutely revolutionize your experience and it's a really simple thing to do. I want to show you how to use custom instructions so you can really optimize your experience in a couple of key ways. There are two boxes in the custom instruction area. One is to tell them about yourself. What are your interests? What do you like? What do you dislike? All those sorts of things. And then there's a second box where you can define your output. This is really amazing for teams. We've been implementing in at my day job at Black Belt. We've been implementing this across the organization to make sure that all the communications one, reflect Tarkin's voice and his unique way of talking and speaking and writing. We get more consistent results throughout the organization. Doesn't matter whether somebody's in customer support or they're writing a, a post for the fa Facebook group or they're writing an announcement. They can run this and apply this custom instructions and ask to rewrite in Tarkin's voice. And it's amazing. It does a great job. Of course, now we can talk to ChatGPT. And I don't, if you've had the chance, if it's optimized and you've got ChatGPT Plus, you really should try it. It really is an extraordinary experience. A uh, good mate of mine was down and I was showing him the feature last night. And it was crazy how good it was at having a conversation. I've been using it to brainstorm ideas like this video, for example. It's really amazing subject for another video, but custom instructions are really good in personalizing that experience. So there are two ways that you can create custom instructions. The first one is actual, right? So if you've already got a profile, if you're already in business, if you've already got your niche or your business set up. Then basically take your favorite documents and you can create, use them as the fodder to create your custom instructions. So you can actually ask ChatGPT to analyze it and tell me what's the, for you to produce this type of writing output, how would you describe that? Fantastic. Get ChatGPT to help. In Taki's case, we used his book because that was like, Taki at concert pitch. That was sort of him and his best stuff. So that way we used to create the custom instructions that we use across the organization. We used his book to train up ChatGPT. Now you may be asking, how can you do that? You can't ingest a book into ChatGPT. I'm a huge fan of the plugin, ask your PDF. It is a really good, fits hand in glove with ChatGPT and the plugins. We'll talk about it a lot in the coming weeks because it's going to be super useful for you. But we're able to use Ask Your PDF to analyze the document so it can take it like a book. And then using the plugin, we can then get ChatGP to analyze it. And that's how we created Taki's custom instructions. Now, what if you're just starting out? This is a really interesting area. And I call, look, you've all heard about fake it till you make it. You've heard about vision boards and sticking out things and goals and having visual representations. It's a method and it really works. And I think there might be a really interesting AI twist to all of this. It reminded me when I was thinking about this of Maxwell Montz. And in 1960, he published a book called Psycho-Cybernetics. My mentors, who were more of that generation and vintage like Gary Halbert and Dan Kennedy and the like, they would often talk about this book. The key concept in that book was that Maxwell Maltz was a plastic surgeon and he noticed that when the patients felt good about their plastic surgery, he noticed changes in all aspects of their life. So I've got this theory. It's one thing to imagine 
yourself as how you want to be. Or to post up photos and so on of aspirational goals and how you want your house to be and all those sorts of things. Here's the thing. With AI, you can create this and insert yourself in the scene. I have a hunch that this is going to be a really powerful technique. It's just a hunch. There's no science behind it that I'm aware of. But I just noticed even myself, as you well know, I've been using AI and face swapping and doing all those things. And I found personally that it has made it easier for me to visualize how I want to be health wise and physically wise and so on. And I'm getting there, which is really pretty cool. Thanks ADHD medication. It would be really interesting for you, I think. If you're starting out to create the, the prompt of what you want ChatGPT to know, to be what you aspire to be, use influences. There's some really interesting examples on Reddit. If you do some searching about custom instructions, there's some really good examples out there. There's some weird ones. I have this newsletter and I would really encourage you to subscribe because in the newsletter, I'm publishing examples of prompts. I'm publishing examples of custom instructions, all the stuff which doesn't try, translate so much into video. I supplement these videos with the newsletter. It's free. There is a paid option where we go even further. But if you're loving what you're seeing in this channel, subscribing to the newsletter would be a really good idea. And of course, as always, if you could like, subscribe and do all those good things that would be hugely helpful as that really helps the channel. Hey, it's so good to be back and doing these videos live. And I want to work up to a cadence of at least two of these a week of something that's of real value. It's not like nothing's been happening. That's for sure. So to keep up to date with all of this, please can subscribe, of course, but the best thing that you can do in the description below you'll see a link to my newsletter. It's free. And in the free version, I publish all sorts of little adjuncts and examples, stuff that doesn't come across so well in the video. The paid version, you get access to a podcast because I know for me, I don't have a lot of time to read the newsletters that I've subscribed to, but I love the ones that do a podcast version of it because I listen to that when I'm walking. Links below, please make sure you subscribe. And I also let you know when I publish a new video as well, which is really cool. And there's a lot going on. This is such an exciting time. It is nuts. It really is. So much has happened while I had my busy September. And I thank you for all the comments about the Kanban series. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. This is an exciting time. It really is. Stay tuned. And we'll speak real soon. Ciao for now. Hi gang, this is the custom instructions box. And I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. First of all, let me just cancel this for a second and show you where you can find it. If you go into the link down here at the bottom, the little three dots and click on custom instructions, that's where you find it. And you can see the top half, which is what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? This is where you put, as I described in the video, your actual or aspirational version of yourself. And then how you would like ChatGPT to respond, that is your, how you would like the output to work. And having both of these is really advantageous. In the copy, in the newsletter, I'll put the example we've got here for Taki, just so you can uh, get an idea for how this works. And remember, if you're new to all of this, let's be aspirational. Make it how you want to be and who you want to be. I think it's really important. It's available to everybody. And most importantly, when you start doing conversations with ChatGPT, 
and when you're starting to prepare work and even when you're starting to do your market research, all those things, custom instructions just makes the experience so much better. Hey, it's so good to be back and doing these videos live. And I want to work up to a cadence of at least two of these a week of something that's of real value. It's not like nothing's been happening. That's for sure. So to keep up to date with all of this, please and subscribe, of course. But the best thing that you can do in the description below, you'll see a link to my newsletter. It's free. And in the free version, I publish all sorts of little adjuncts and examples, stuff that doesn't come across so well in the video. 